how to find a lost Android smartphone using Google Find My Device. The first thing you need to do is open up any browser and then navigate to the following URL address, which is https colon slash slash www.google.com slash android slash find. Once you've done that, you'll be then taken to Google Find My Device tool. Here you'll be greeted on the right hand side with a big map provided by Google Maps where you can see where your device currently is if it was turned on. On the left hand side, you can see the device that has been lost and that you are searching for and all the little tools provided by Google Find My Device that you can use to interact with your device and hopefully locate it. So as you can see, I'm currently looking for an Android smartphone. As you can see, I have some signal on my Android device, which implies that it's turned on. You can also see the network that's currently being used. I'm going to blur that just for my own privacy. You can also see the battery percent if it is currently powered on. Once you first open up Google Find My Device, you'll have two options that you can use to find your device. The first option being play sound. Device will ring for five minutes, even if it's set to silent. So I'm going to demonstrate that really quickly, just to show you what kind of tone it is, and then I'll cancel it immediately. So I'm just going to left click here and put my phone to the microphone. All right, I've just left click on stop ringing there. So that's the type of sound that you'll hear if you currently can't find your device, if your phone is lost, or if it's lost in your own house and it's just set to silent. And this is a quick and easy way to find it as ringing your own device won't work because your phone is on silent. The next option you'll have is to set up secure and erase. Now I've previously logged into Google Find My Device and I've already configured this. So I'm just going to open up an image that I found on Google Images just to show you what it would look like if you're first logging into Google Find My Device. So I have the image here. So as you can see, you only have two options. You have the play sound and you have set up secure and erase. I have it circled here in red. So I'm just going to close out of this image. As you can see, once you've set that up, it will be separated to secure device and erase device. So when you're setting up secure and erase, all you need to do is left click on secure and erase. You'll then get a notification on your phone asking you to set up secure and erase. All you need to do is tap on set up secure and erase on your smartphone and then that'll be set up. And then those two options will be separated into two further options. So you'll actually have three options total that you can use to interact with your device. The first one being play sounds, which I just demonstrated, secure device, and erase device. So I'm just going to give you a brief overview about secure device and erase device. So for secure device, your device will lock and sign out of your Google account. You can also display a message or phone number on the lock screen. So that would be good to secure your data and displaying a phone number will allow the person that hopefully found your device to be able to reach and contact you for them to give your phone back. You can still locate the device after it's locked. So that's one of the options you can do. I'm not going to left click on this as I do not want my device to lock or sign out of my Google account currently, but I can reassure you that it is very easy to do so and will work. The last option is to erase device. Erase all content from the device after your device has been erased, you can't locate it, may require sign in. So erasing your device would be a last resort option where you erase all the data on your device. Basically, you will do a factory reset on your device and restore it to what it was when you first got it. That way, all your data will be deleted that's housed on the device. Your photos, your documents, your passwords, etc., your banking even, will all be erased. So the person that has your device cannot access your sensitive information information. It will definitely require you to sign in because Google Find My Device will need to make sure you're 100% certain you want to do this. Erasing your device is also straightforward as securing your device option here. Just follow the on-screen instructions and you'll easily factory reset your device remotely. And yes guys, I forgot to mention that erasing your device is in fact treated as a remote factory reset. All right guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video.